Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. And I pray and I hope that when your eyes open this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right. Just in case I missed something on yesterday, you've given me another opportunity and I thank you. You may be getting up and getting dressed to prepare breakfast for your children or your husband or just for yourself. You may be getting up and getting dressed to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, go to the gym, or just relax today. Could be your off day. I ask you before you start your busy morning to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart and let your heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is darkness. Darkness. What's the definition of darkness? Total absence of light. Spiritual darkness is a symbol of spiritual death. You know, there's a lot of people walking around here and they're spiritually dead. You're talking to them, you're passing them, you're seeing them everywhere. The unregenerations, are, the unregenerated are spiritually dead. And live in spiritual darkness. All humans are born spiritually dead. Due to the original sin of our daddy Adam. The regenerated are made alive spiritually. Once you accept Jesus Christ as your savior. You become regenerated. And you are spiritually alive. They live in the spiritual light. They walk in the light. Everything they do is in the light. There's no secret in a person that's regenerated. You know, my mother used to say, my life is an open book. Read any page. I have nothing to hide. So be careful of those people that do things in secret. Be careful of those people. Only people who are spiritually alive can truly understand God's word in its truth and richness. See, God is not going to let someone that's spiritually dead into the depths of his word because he knows that they're not ready to receive it yet. So come out of darkness if you're there. For the unregenerated, this is impossible. Their minds and their hearts are darkened. That's just simple as it is. And they are full and they are following a path of darkness. Are you following? Things that are done in secret now. There's a lot of organizations that have a lot of secret things hid within them. But God says through his son, his son says, I held nothing back. I've given you everything. You've seen it all. <laughs> I have nothing. Nothing that I've done is in darkness. Everything is brought to the light. Although they may not perceive it. See, there's a lot of people in darkness and don't even know they're in darkness. Because they're not in fellowship with the Lord Jesus and they don't know his word. They are enemies of God. He is not within them. A heart of darkness boils within them. Have you ever... Sit down and decide to talk to someone about something. And all of a sudden, there's a rage in them. That's darkness. What about you? What about you? 
Are you living in God's truth? Or are you only trusting and living in your own truth? What you think it's all about. Let's look at what John 12, 35 and 36 says. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. This is clearly given that the day were nearly done, was nearly gone. And the even and the eternal darkness will come. It's almost here. Walk while you have the light. That means do what you know to do that is right, that is in God's word, that is right. Not what man says right, but what God's word says right. Let's darkness come upon you. See, that's going to come a day that darkness is going to hit all of us. And you know what that darkness is? Death. Presents a choice. So you have the choice today to walk in the light or move in darkness. For he who walk in darkness knoweth not where he goes. He can't see your way in the darkness. Proclaim the majority of the world at this present and, in fact, since the beginning of time. The percentage of the world is walking in darkness because they are following self. They are establishing their own ways. They are presenting their own happiness. Whatever they desire, that is right. That's darkness. 36, while you have the light with you, Jesus is the light. Believe in the light. Make Christ the center focus of your life and living. And see what happens. That you may be children of the light. Mm. These things spoke Jesus and departed from them. And did hide himself from them. This was the lost public. This was the last public word of Jesus. Walk in the light. Stay in the light. As I have walked in the light. If the word of Jesus. If the word of God is rejected. Utterly the Lord will hide himself. He doesn't give himself to those that have not accepted him. Come into the marvelous light. Stay out of darkness. I pray that we follow the truth of God's word in our everyday life. If not, let us remember the last portion of the verse. These things spoke Jesus and departed from them and did hide himself from them. See, death. Once it's over, it's over. And the Lord Jesus Christ, and if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I will see you on Monday. Be safe. Be blessed. Stay in the light. And have a beautiful weekend. Come out of darkness, please.